Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 717-2019, exactly 12.12 12 p.m. Our Lady of Guadalupe coming through again. So how are you feeling in these intense energy waves of this full moon, lunar eclipse energies in Capricorn? I know last night I had many intense dreams. I was jumping many timelines. Also, around midnight, I passed out and went deep into the void and about an hour later came out of it. It was like my eyes were glued shut. And I went outside and it took me several minutes to be able to even see. The intensity of the moon was unlike I've ever seen and the clouds were swirling and all these light patterns. It was like the dream is totally revealing itself. It totally felt like I was in the dream state, in the dream world, which this is a dream. It's a type of dream. The dream matrix, the dream spell. We are asleep in this dream. And then I went to sleep and for at least six hours had many intense dreams. I lived out several timelines. It's strange that you know, obviously on the other side or the higher dimensions or our dream states. An hour, in an hour you could live a whole lifetime. So let us know in the comments below what you experienced through this full moon lunar eclipse. Also today, this morning, many 444s coming through, 44 and 144. There was a moment where I felt like a couple of my teeth were going to vibrate and explode and I looked at the clock and it was 1144 and that was after doing some Nagung practice for an hour. These resonances from the crystal palace can sometimes make the energies come through your teeth and feel like the frequencies, the vibrations can make them feel very sensitive. Just like at any time energy is moving through you, the chi is moving through any blocks or releasing any energies. It might feel painful, the sensitivity might be enhanced or magnified to bring your awareness into that area. Because there's a saying in the Taoist philosophy and Chinese medicine that where the mind goes, the qi flows. That is why in qigong practice we start with putting our awareness in the lower dantian and breathing the qi into the lower dantian. Then you can work on that middle dantian and the upper dantian and then circulate through the microcosmic orbit you can look that up on google the microcosmic orbit which is the the flow through the body through the meridians down the front of your body up the back like a circle like a clock like a spiral moving the energies through your vessel through the field through what is called the microcosmic orbit much more information coming through the field today. A lot of intel is coming out that the White Hats, who are the good guys in this story, have totally taken over the governments of the world. And what the White Hats are also called the Earth Alliance. And this is coming through, there is an article put out today from N5D about the White Hat takeover. This information is also coming through David Wilcox and several other sources. Also today, check out the Goldfish Report. It's number 374. There's a 37 and the 73, Heaven on Earth. And it's titled White or Red and White Dragon Interview Global Currency Reset. It's about the GCR, the Global Currency Reset. And uh, it's with Benjamin Fulfer that works with the White Dragon Society out of Japan. And then also the ambassador to the Red Dragon family out of China there on this interview it's a very i just started listening to it when i get a few minutes i'll listen to more of that today but what i heard was really good and it's worth checking out if you're interested in that aspect of this dream spell today from gaia portal the codes came in for july for 717 heterogenies are resolved in light sparse fields are replanted Stargates open for those in the movements. Hard lines are furrowed and opened. So that's code for the Starseeds. That's on GaiaPortal.wordpress.com. Also, it was reported a couple days ago that something 
inside the pyramids in Egypt are heating up. They're the ancient Egyptian pyramids are heating up and scientists can't explain it. So they've been doing thermal scanning in Egypt's Giza pyramids and I, they've identified anomalies in the 4,500-year-old burial structures. Obviously, they're those researching this. This is a coming from mainstream media, so they're saying it's 4,500 years old, but most of us know they're much older than that. So including a major one in the largest pyramids, the Antiquities Ministry announced that scanning showed a particularly impressive anomaly located on the eastern side of the Khufu pyramid at ground level. The largest of the three Giza pyramids is known locally as Khufu, K-H-U-F-U, and internationally as Cheops. Antiquities Minister Mam- Mamdo El Damati and technical experts working on the project showed the higher temperature being detected in three specific adjacent stones at the bottom of the pyramids. This with thermal scare, uh, scanning was carried out at all times of the day, including sunrise as the sun heats the structure from the outside and then sunset as the pyramids are cooling down. The speed of the heating and the cooling phases is being used to uncover hypotheses such as empty areas in the pyramids, internal air currents, and different building materials. While inspecting the area, they found that there's a small, like something like a small passage in the ground that you can see leading up to the pyramids ground, reaching an area with a different temperature. Other heat anomalies were detected in the upper half of the pyramid that experts said need to be investigated further. So this is just another sign of these shifts going on, this awakening of Gaia. And there's a connection with all, all pyramids around this realm. It's like a massive circuit board which they're all connected, so people are detecting weird anomalies in pyramids all over the, the world right now. The galactic, we also have a galactic update from Davian, from davian-art.com. Dear Starseeds and Lightworkers, it is a fantastic period, and you have chosen to be here, there now, during this process of global awakening of humanity. So join in and get to the heart of the event. Your pineal glands are being activated for those who did not have their third eye open until now. As a result, many things will become visible to you. The veil of illusion is falling apart. Your love and energy are necessary for success in this great evolution. So this is about the the third eye, the spirit eye opening, or what is called the eyes of the spirit, or the non-physical eyes, which as the eyes open, the veil is lifted, the veil of separation the veil of duality, as we reconnect or rebirth from our higher selves into this realm, into the matrix as we shift. We're shifting into 3D, 4D, 5D, back and forth throughout the day. As we're anchoring deeper, the 5D grid is fully in place over Gaia. She has ascended, and we are uh, meeting that frequency, meaning meeting that resonance, resonating, it's like entrainment, or raising our frequency as the frequency of Gaia, Terra Nova, is pulling us up the spiral, up the kundalini of the earth. Today's transmission is from Anastasia Campos from Blue Beyond Guide. You can check her out on Facebook. New Light Paradigm, Blue Beyond Guide, Energetic Reset, from July 16, 2019. Feelings of being lonely in the past have come up. Body clock reset. Feeling a nothingness, a void, a detachment from all. This is a good thing. The last few days, especially the last two, has been a feeling of something doesn't feel quite right on a planetary scale, of which we are coming out of today a feeling very rattled. Keep clearing and removing energies and letting go from within and not the head only, but from one's heart and soul. One can picture words of what you are hanging on to or what is going on around inside of a big bubble and see this being handed to a giant pair of hands and taken up above to be released, handed over and let go as we take a breath and blow it away and out of ourselves and release. If one still struggles with letting go, then write, 
It's so powerful to do so. One may be surprised as to how much we need to let go of, as it can be over and over in layers and layers. Putting pen to paper is linking the spirit and the soul through the ink and releasing as one writes. Again, it's the second page of purging that the subconscious kicks in. We need a release valve sometimes, and this is a good method, as some of us have a lot to say, share, and release, especially as blue rays. There has not been much sleep for days now, and then there is being so tired and falling asleep as well, or feeling so tired, not able to sleep as energies are still going. Each processes energies differently. All we can do is go with it and not resist and try to fit things into a pattern, routine, or box. There are resets within resets with this. Yes, it's the retrograde, and it's the energies of this month with all that includes and all else shared. The main one at the moment is the new world energy that came through with the earthquake here in Western Australia. People felt this from all around the world, and I am learning through comments it was that significant as a big change for us all. There are sharings from Celia Fenn about complete embodiment of the soul, which will be interesting to what that means in the actual human being, and I will be keeping a check on this with spirit as we bring it through personally and newly with this in the near future. And you can see this, the Celia Fenn transmission in one of my past videos called the 88 Lionsgate 2019, Complete Embodiment of the Soul as we enter the 2019 to 20 creative cycle, especially with January 2020 bringing a new umbilical cord connection with the universe that I have had spiritual whispers about too, which will be linked with the Uluru solar plexus of the world, or Uluru, which I have been personally with spirit working for some years now, and many years with spirit with the indigenous, as the elders come through to me, I have a very strong Pleiadian link. When I went there physically last year, this still goes on with the Divine Spirit's mission. Going there personally or not, the Divine does not stop as we push through the darkness and broke through the old dark paradigm in January this year. Detox of the old consciousness. A new consciousness is a new process of just coming in. As always, I am right here with you. You are masters, you are ascending, and we are gathering. Much unconditional love, truth, and honesty. Anastasia Campos from the Blue Beyond Guide. Today's Dream Spell Journey Code by Valon Votan and Balon Ilk. Kin 5, the Overtone Tower of Life Force, 717-2019. The Red Serpent represents the power of number 5 because it is the solar seal number 5. Exactly today's Kin 5. Overtone Serpent is the fifth tone of the fifth seal, therefore it is coded 5-5. Five five. The number 5 is also part of the Fibonacci sequence. Today's Maya real time is 11 Kawak, equivalent to 11 Storm, Kin 219. And the Dream Spell, which is coded 19.11, seal 19, tone 11. The 1911 code represents the transmission of the solar crystal earth because 19.11 is the square root of the number days of the earth's orbit around the sun. 365.24 days equals 19.11. The 19.11 code also marked the ascension day of Jose Argilis, Valom Votan, and Ken 89 which is also coded 1911. Wave spell of seal 19 storm, tone 11, equals 19.11. Precisely the antipode power of kin 219 is the kin 89 of the ascension of Volum. Exactly the antipode of kin 89 is the kin 219. Both antipode kin are coded 1911. The 1911 code also marked the dedication to the Pyramid Temple of King Pakal on long count date 9.12.18.4.19, 11 Kawak, 11 Storm. This new date is sustained by the outstanding Maya epigraphist David Stewart, see Palenque, 
the eternal city of the Maya. Therefore, the Maya real time 11 Kawak equals 11 storm equaling 1911 equaling kin 219 in dream time. The 1911 code also contains an enigmatic future return of Pakal Votan on the distant long count date of 1.0.0.0.0.0.8. Five Lamat, equivalent to 21 October 4772 AD, which exactly will be contained within the dream spell year of the spectral storm, Kin 219, Code 1911. All of this new information has been unveiled by the 1919 Crystal Matrix, which precisely works with an outer matrix of 19 times 19 and an inner matrix of 11 times 11. Therefore, it is technically a 1911 matrix, also referred to as the 19 matrix. Exactly the day 241241 on the 19 matrix brings the 19 and 11 matrices together perpetually on the date March 23. Precisely, this was the ascension date of Valon Votan, March 23, 2011, and the birth date of the archetype of Pakal Votan, March 23rd, 603. Therefore, the crystal matrix confirms the twin Votan archetypes on its day 241, which is coded by 1911. July 17, 2019, NS 1.31.13.21, Kin 5, Red, Overtone Serpent. The code is... I am power in order to survive. Commanding instinct, I seal the store of life force. With the overtone, tone of radiance, I am guided by the power of space. Harmonic to galactic store, remember elegance of integrity. Thank you for joining me here today. I am Paul from PrimeDisclosure.com. I appreciate each and every one of you for your connections, for your love, for your life, for sharing your stories. Leave a comment below this video on what you're experiencing. The 64 just came through, the 46, 104, and 717. So I'd like to thank everyone also that is joining in the mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador. You can join us on raising funds through a CBD business, which is cbdpeaceoil.com. It'll be in the link in the description below. I'd like to thank the love workers that have so far... Tran are transmitting the codes that were in the blueprint for the star seed. So check out our video blueprint for all love workers star seeds for the new earth. So keep walking your path with heart, beloved beings of light. I love you all. Namaste. So walking through the garden today, and I heard a little angel call to me from the bushes. And here she came, my little black and white friend. Mm. The new earth is shining through, brothers and sisters. Go out into the field, out into the realm, and find a little friend. What do you see? <laughs> she sees a little birdie that she's going after. That's okay. It's only a spirit realm. Mm, the little angel. The great spirit brought me an angel today. Look at how cute she is. She is really purring. There. Get those eyes. I love you, little angel. I love you, little angel. Are those the eyes of an angel or what? <laughs> Is that it?
little birdie's taunting you. See how she chitter chatters. I'll say hi to him. Oh, here comes another bird. The wing nation's coming to communicate with the Lyra nation. What you see in there? <laughs> 